How's it going guys and welcome to my five life tips. I thought I'd share with you guys five life tips that I've picked up throughout my life and hopefully maybe one day they'll uh, they'll come in useful to you. So let's get started with number one. So tip one is in your purse or your wallet or whatever it is that you carry around with your credit cards and all that sort of stuff in, keep a set of stamps. Now you're probably thinking I don't send many letters, there's no real need for me to have stamps, but honestly, when the time comes that you need to send a letter, or you need to send this or that, it's so ideal to have them. In fact, by the time you've gone down to the shops, which, you know, you could it could be a couple of days before you actually get around to buying some more stamps, with a first class stamp, your letter's already going to be at the destination you wanted it to be. So, keeping a set of stamps on you is really ideal, especially for, recently, my mum was uh, given a parking ticket from an Aldi car park and it was a bit of a joke really because she'd gone in one day and uh, where we live, you know, we live on the farm, it gets, her car gets very dirty, she went in one day and it picked up a number plate but couldn't pick up a rear, it must have been dirty or something and then she went into the shops the next day and she'd obviously realised overnight that her number plate was dirty, cleaned it up, drove it in and it registered it as the next day when she left. So they sent her a ticket like you've been at Aldi car park for 17 hours, which she obviously hadn't been. Um, and they sent her a letter and by the time she got the letter, her time frame for actually sending a letter back to appeal it, because there was no other way to appeal bar send a letter, um, was very, very small. In fact, she only had like a couple of days to send a letter back. So because I had these stamps, I was able just to give her a stamp, she could send the letter straight away, instead of having to panic and worry about it and go to the shops and get a stamp and stuff. like. Just keep stamps in your wallet. You know where they are, they're safe, they're ideal, and you've always got them if you need them. And it's not like they take up much room. So it's a real ideal thing to have. Tip number two, and you'll really like this if you're a homeowner, get some of these. Now these green LED strips aren't ideal for reading like they are, but if I wanted to, I don't know if they'll work from here. Yeah, they will look. So you can have white, or you can have blue, or you can have whatever. I'll show you guys a video of my uh, bedroom wall at the minute. So as you guys can see, the uh, the lights are up the side of the wall, and not only do they look stylish, if you use like an LED bulb as opposed to a normal bulb, they are 75% more efficient. Not only are they more efficient, they don't produce as much heat as well. Like there's, there's just no end of plus size to LEDs. On top of these LEDs looking really nice, if you come home from work and you wanna just chill and, and watch a film or something, and sort of do a bit of nothing and you don't want that big bright um, wall light right in your face and in your eyes and stuff then you can turn these LED lights on any colour you fancy lower the lower the light of them, lower the, the power of them or you can higher the power you know depending on what you're wanting to do but it will save you so much money and on top of them looking really stylish and stuff you also have the added bonus that when your power is out, say you have like a power cut for whatever reason, lightning or some other natural disaster, when your power's out, you're still able to light your house because all you have to do is plug a power bank that you've kept safe somewhere, plug that in and that will light all your LEDs for a very, very long time. So say your power's out for two hours, no problem. Swap your power from uh, your outlet to your USB power bank and it will continue running your lights. So even when it's dark, you're not having to put like candle lights out, uh, that could you know catch fire to your house and stuff like that so leds so many advantages and you can change all the colors and they look so cool like what there's no reason why you wouldn't do them and when i've got my own house i will definitely be kitting it all out especially if you do them nicely and tastefully if you can hide them away a bit i mean mine are quite out there but if you can hide them away a bit so the glow comes out they look mega tip number three and you might have noticed me in my videos wearing different jackets now I've got different jackets for different occasions. Probably seems very weird, but I will talk through my principle. Essentially, if it's cold and I'm in the house and I want just like a bit of a jacket on, but I don't want a hoard and stuff, I will put this on. This thing, I can actually, no, I can't see the camera through it, but I can see light through it. It's quite thin, it's nice, it's comfortable, it's dead fleecy, you know, it's a nice thing to have. I'll put this on in the house and that's sort of that. My next jacket, this is the jacket that if I'm doing a job, let's say I'm changing the oil on my car or I'm fixing something in the house or, you know, if I'm doing general jobs where I'm probably going to get mucky or, you know, I could damage my clothing, this is what I'll wear. And this is a layer up and this is what I do with a lot of my clothes. 
So this is actually like a grey hoodie, grey zip up hoodie and this flannel thing and as you can see here like I've obviously been laying down I think that's when I was cleaning my car the day before yesterday or doing that car video I did recently uh, it's all dirty it's horrible this will always have in the left pocket one of these little anchor mini speakers one day I will probably do a video on these because they are insane they're so good but this is just a little Bluetooth speaker that I keep in my pocket because when I'm doing jobs for new on my car or whatever I like to have music playing just because you know it keeps you keeps you entertained while you're doing doing a lot of jobs so I'll always have that and then I'll usually have if I can find it there's like a little LED light so that's just in case I'm you know I'm underneath the car and I see someone I'm like well I wonder what that is this is like a light jacket it's just ideal for that sort of stuff I don't mind it getting dirty and then my third jacket this is my main jacket I'll go pretty much everywhere in this. I won't put it on if I know that I'm doing jobs where I'm definitely going to get dirty. But if I was out and about and the car broke down or something, I wouldn't mind getting underneath the car in this because it is still workwear and very good workwear. This is more expensive than the other jackets I've got. I've got like a darker grey hoodie inside of this one. This is another zip up hoodie with the jacket over the top. But this coat is full and this is the point that I'm more getting at. I'll be prepared for a lot of situations. I've always got my LED torch in. This thing is awesome. Uh, it's actually the spec that the police use, so I've been told, I don't know how true that is. Always got some paracord rope inside. You never know when you're gonna need this stuff. It's great. Um, what else have I got? But essentially, I like to be prepared, and with this jacket, I feel like I can be. This has usually got a Bluetooth speaker and I've also got another Bluetooth speaker, so it's usually got that in. I've also got though, if I go around the shops and stuff, a little pouch. This has got, by the same company, little wireless headphones. Nice thing to have on you again, or if you say you, for whatever reason, have ended up somewhere where you're going to have to walk a bit of a distance on your own. It's nice just to have the headphones. I keep a little bit of money in there. Uh, just like a ten pound note in case wherever you're going doesn't accept card, and I've also got some change in there that I didn't know I had, so that's nice. What have I got in here? Ah, and the last thing that I've got in here, well, I think it's the last thing. Ah, no, I've got other things. I've got a roll of uh, electrical tape. Again, don't know when you're going to need it, but it's ideal if you're just doing little jobs. And at the minute, with the whole coronavirus going on, I've got a thing of squirty uh, hand sanitizer stuff which is ideal and I've got these immune support lens zip things because so I have to take one every day I put this jacket on every day every day that I put it on I bash my pocket and then I hear the noise of this and then I'm like oh yeah I need to take one of those it's just like an Im immune support boost thing or whatever it is but it's just ideal to have at these tough times so yeah my jackets are always reflective of whatever job I'm doing they'll always have whatever job I'm doing, parts that are relevant to that. Um, but yeah, if you have set up, it's a bit like work uniform. If you've got it set up ready, you'll be ready for any sort of task on hand. This is sort of like my all purpose one. Wherever I am, if I've got something going on, I'm hopefully prepared by just having this jacket on with me. I will say though, I mean, the actual red flannel jacket bit's heavy enough itself. This thing, when it's all loaded up, weighs like, I think it's over half a stone. So it's a good weight, but it, I like, I like a weighty coat, I think it's quite nice. It keeps you quite warm and stuff. So yeah, that's tip number two. The workwear kind of brings me on to tip four and that is tools. Now, I'm not saying go out and buy the most expensive tools you possibly can. However, you will never really lose your money in decent tools. If you buy decent tools, they tend to hold their value pretty well. Stuff like Snap-on and all that. You know, I'm not much of a snap-on guy. I, I like it, I think it's all right stuff. I'm more into my wearer stuff. I think it's bang on. And mainly because of the fact that it's not only, you know, it's not only cool looking or whatnot, it's just so user-friendly. I mean, look at this, my ratchet. Put your piece on so you guys can see a bit better, but my ratchet can go lock here. It can lock here. You know, so I can use it like a screwdriver, I can use it like a normal ratchet, I can use it at a bit of an angle. You know, that's that's pretty cool by any standards. So um yeah, 
you won't lose your money in decent tools so i would recommend buying like some decent tools because you never know when they're going to come in handy especially screwdriver sets stuff like that um so i have these and i've ended up doing tons of jobs bits on the car bits on the house all that sort of stuff um but even if you don't invest in like a decent set as long as you've got some even if you go to like pound shops and stuff like that, like discount centers and stuff they've got tools and as long as you've got like a decent range of stuff so some screwdrivers some pliers pliers come in handy so often even if you get like an adjustable spanner so you're not having to buy all different spanners like just a small set of stuff perhaps i'll do a video on it like a small basic essentials kit that you need um then you'll do so well like you'll they'll come in handy at times when you really need them so yeah if you can afford to buy decent tools and you know you're going to get the use out of them i suppose that's it then it's worth doing if not definitely go down discount center and just buy adjustable spanners screwdrivers i'm not really keen on adjustable spanners it's kind of making me cringe saying it but that sort of thing so you're not taking up loads of space even if you just keep them in a cupboard in your kitchen or something then if anything goes wrong at least you've got a better chance of preventing more damage or fixing whatever the problem is Tip number one, and this is going to seem like a bit of a cop out, it can seem really stupid, but just whatever you do, be nice to people and be yourself and just, it sounds so stupid and so cringy, but like, as long as you're you and you're not trying to be anyone else and you're as nice to people as you possibly can be, then you'll, you'll really honestly go far in life, as stupid as it sounds. People are more inclined to do stuff with you or help you out or you know stuff like that if you're just honest with people and you try your best to sort of be nice to them i suppose and like you know just just get on with people there, there's no point so many people are they're rude and don't use like use your manners like i don't get why so many people can't just use manners use your manners and stuff no matter who it is like whether it's some some really angry person that you meet on the street who's just barging past you and thinks they own the place. Even if it's some like local youth that's sort of running around thinking he owns the place, just be polite to them. Like even people that just really probably don't really deserve to be polite to, just be polite to everybody because it will get you a lot further than, than you'd actually probably think. So guys, that is my top five tips. Just a little bit of a short video, or at least I think it's short, probably not by the time I finished editing it. I hope you guys have enjoyed them. I hope you've learned something from them. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll hopefully see you soon.